Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about progenote, a hypothetical stage in evolution. Progenote is a hypothetical stage in evolution. It can be defined as any primordial organism in which the relationship between genotype and phenotype emerged. In the current literature, the term progenote is used in two different ways. First one, an organization level that preceded cells with prokaryotic organization. And the second concept is it is used to denote the last common ancestor. So, is progenote the last common ancestor or LCA? In some scenarios describing early cellular evolution, the last common ancestor was assumed to be at a pre prokaryotic level of organization that is a progenote. But subsequent analysis of the molecular evolution of different components of cells suggests that the last common ancestor was a prokaryote. Therefore, progenote is a hypothetical pre-prokaryotic stage in cellular evolution distinct from the last common ancestor. More details about progenote was given by Woos and Forbes in 1977. So they define progenote as a stage or a hypothetical stage in the evolution of cells that preceded the organism with typical prokaryotic organization. They define as eukaryote did arise from prokaryotes but only in the sense that prokaryotic is an organization not a phylogenetic distinction. In an analogous fashion, prokaryotes arise from simpler entities. The latter is called progenote because they are still in process of evolving relationship between genotype and phenotype. The intention of Woos and Forbes was to define an organizational level simpler than and preceding prokaryotic level. At progenotic level, the genes and encoder proteins are smaller and the accuracy of transcription and translation was lower than at prokaryotic level. Therefore, the evolution occurred rapidly. At prokaryotic level, organisms contain genomes that codes for several biochemical and structural functions. Some of the genome encoded functions include replication, translation, formation of a semi-permeable membrane between organism and environment, etc. This prokaryotic level of organization is so complex that the likelihood of spontaneous assembly of a prokaryotic organization from primordial soup is zero. Therefore, as a solution to this problem, it is to assume an intermediate step which is successively evolved into a more complex structure. Usually, this the intermediate step in a self-replicating RNA molecule. Due to the limited accuracy of early receptors, the size and information in the self-replicating molecule is limited. The evolution of a self-propagating network of biochemical reaction that maintains a boundary with the environment that is an autopoietic network from simpler self-replicating molecules was also a puzzle. Therefore, there must be a progenotic like organism between the RNA world and prokaryote. So, according to this concept, in between the RNA world and the last common ancestor, which is a prokaryotic organism, there occurs a organization level that is the progenote. It is an organism where the relationship between genotype and phenotype emerged. This progenote concept postulating an organism without strict coupling between phenotype and genotype negates major conceptual breakthrough associated with RNA world, namely Darwinian selection already acted on simpler self-replicating RNA molecule. So this is one concept that is from the RNA world 
their race and organizational level which is a progy node and then from the progy node the last common ancestor it is also known as the sen ancestor it is a prokaryotic organism developed and then from there the bacteria eukarya and archaea developed but there is another argument regarding evolution Wolves and Fox argued that the last common ancestor of bacteria and the eukaryotic nucleocytoplasmic components was a progenoid. It also extends that a third line of descent, the RK or the RK bacteria, also evolved from this. Wolves and collaborators suggest that the three domains independently evolved from progenoid. Optimization of transcription and translation machinery occurred in parallel. so from the rna world a progenotic organism evolved and from the progenote three distinct classes that is the bacteria eukarya and archaea developed independently but the molecular evolution study of cell components shows that the last common ancestor was a prokaryote not a progenote therefore Progenoid is a hypothetical stage in the evolution that precedes the last common ancestor. So the initial concept is accepted now. I hope it's clear to all of you. Thank you for joining.